Hi everyone, so continuation from the reading of uh, Genesis 35, starting with verse 16. Then they moved on from Bethel. While they were still some distance from Ephrath, Rachel began to give, to give birth and had great difficulty. And as she was having great difficulty in childbirth, the midwife said to her, Don't be afraid, for you have another son. As she breathed her last, for she was dying, she named her son Ben-Oni, but his father named him Benjamin. So Rachel died and was buried on the way to Ephrath, that is Bethlehem. Over her tomb, Jacob set up a pillar, and to this day that pillar marks Rachel's tomb. Israel moved on again and pitched his tent beyond Migdal Eder. While Israel was living in that region, Reuben went in and slept with his father's concubine, Billa, and Israel heard of it. Jacob had twelve sons, the sons of Leah, Reuben, the firstborn of Jacob, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, and Zebulun, Zebulun the sons of Rachel, Joseph and Benjamin, the sons of Rachel's maidservant, Billa, Dan, and Naphtali, Nap Tali, the sons of Leah's maidservant, Zilpah, Gad, and Asher. These were the sons of Jacob who were born to him in Paddan Aram. Jacob came home to his father Isaac in Mamre near Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron. And I apologize if I get some of these names wrong. Some of them are pretty difficult. Isaac lived a hundred in 80 years, then he breathed his last and died and was gathered to his people, old and full of years. And his sons Esau and Jacob buried him. Esau's descendants, chapter 36, Genesis. This is the account of Esau, that is, Edom. Esau took his wives from the women of Canaan, Ada, a daughter of Elon the Hittite, and Olibama, daughter of Anna, and granddaughter of Zibian the Hivite, also Basimath, daughter of Ishmael and sister of Nebaioth. Ada bore Eliphaz to Esau, Basimath bore Ruel, and Olibama bore Jeush, Jalam, and Korah. These were the sons of Esau who were born to him in Canaan. Esau took his wives and sons and daughters and all the members of his household, as well as his livestock and all his other animals and all the goods he had acquired in Canaan and moved to a land some distance from his brother Jacob. Their possessions were too great for them to remain together. The land where they were staying could not support them both because of their livestock. So Esau, that is Edom, settled in the hill country of Seir. This is the account of Esau, the father of the Edomites, in the hill country of Seir. These are the names of Esau's sons, Eliphaz, the son of Esau's wife, Ada, and Ruel, the son of Esau's wife, Basimath, the sons of Eliphaz, Teman, Omar, Zepho, Gatam, and Kenaz. Esau's sons, Eliphaz, also had a concubine named Timnah, who bore him Amalek. These were grandsons of Esau's wife, Ada. That's the ending of Genesis 36, ending with verse 12. Tomorrow we'll pick up from there.